I was dating Tupac Shakur at the time. I didn't know you dated I, Tupac Shakur. That was Shakur. a surprise. That's never been out there, I don't think. We got hold of a document in which Tupac Shakur reveals why he broke up with Madonna. And I got to say, it's really honest and shocking, yet at the same time, understandable. But this all has to do with race. I still can't believe that Tupac and Madonna did it. Like, it's a bit mind-blowing to me. I don't know why. But he broke up with her because she's white. Madonna, the queen of pop, and Tupac Shakur, one of the biggest legends in rap, were in a love affair that shook the media to its core. Different races, different worlds, but their love was real. That is, until Tupac made the tough call to end things. Not because he wanted to, but to save Madonna from a dark and dangerous fate, the sacrifice. Yes, you heard it right. Tupac saved Madonna from being sacrificed. Recently, Madonna finally opened up about what really went down between her and the late rapper. How did the sacrifice jump into the relationship? And how it saved Madonna from being sacrificed? Stay tuned to find out. Madonna is coming to visit me. Madonna has so much power that the guards let me take an extra shower. Wow. I had guards walking me downstairs, everything, trying to people look. And did she come? I was dating Tupac Shakur at the time. Back in the 90s, Madonna was at the height of her career as the queen of pop. She had released five studio albums, sold millions of copies around the world, and had created a reputation as a groundbreaking female artist. Tupac Shakur, on the other hand, was at the beginning of his career with only two albums out and growing popularity among his hip-hop peers and the mainstream media. In a recent interview with Howard Stern, the 56-year-old discussed her brief relationship with the rapper, who tragically passed away in 1996. I was dating Tupac Shakur at the time. I didn't know you dated I, Tupac Shakur. That was Shakur. a surprise. That's never been out there, I don't think. Looks like the Living for Love singer was in a sharing mood when she appeared on Howard Stern's show. At one point during their 83-minute conversation, Madonna revealed, I was mad at David Letterman when I said the F word a lot. I was in a weird mood that day. I was dating Tupac Shakur at the time, and the thing is, he got me all riled up on life in general. So when I went on the show, I was feeling very gangsta. If you don't know, Tupac Shakur and Madonna were a thing for a little while in the mid-1990s. However, after 18 months of dating, Tupac abandoned Madonna. But the main reason for their breakup has recently come to light. We got to know that the Changes rapper dumped the material girl via a prison letter that penned on January 15th, 1995, mainly because of race and optics. This letter divulges never before seen secrets about the intimate relationship between two of the biggest popular culture icons of the 20th century. In the letter, Tupac explains why he felt he had to break up with Madonna, as well as his regret for how he handled himself in the relationship. Tupac speaks with convincing self-awareness, confessing his struggle to show affection and the damage this relationship would have on his image. For example, regarding public appearances with Madonna, Tupac writes, I would be letting down half the people who made me what I thought I was. Tupac also addresses the racial dynamics which made his connection with Madonna so difficult to maintain. Not only that, Pac also wrote, for you to be seen with a black man wouldn't in any way jeopardize your career. If anything, it would make you seem that much more open and exciting. But for me, at least in my previous perception, I felt due to my image, I would be letting down half the people who made me what I thought I was. I never meant to hurt you. In the emotional letter, the pop star begged to understand where he was coming from, insisting that he never meant to hurt Madonna. He also takes upon himself to give an ominous warning to Madonna through his letter. Please be careful, Madonna. Everyone is not as honorable as they seem. There are those whose hearts bleed with envy and evil. They would not hesitate to do you harm. He also goes on to tell Madonna to remember him and their good time together. Tupac asked for Madonna to remember him, not for his shortcomings, but for the good times and magic that they shared. He offers his friendship and finishes the note with a postscript, asking for Madonna to visit him so that they can talk face to face. At the end of the letter, he asked the pop star to visit him in the clink. Well, now you must have already got the hint that Tupac did all this in order to protect Madonna from the dangerous gangster rap culture he was a part of which led to his death around one year later. If he hadn't written that letter, maybe Madonna would have gotten too deep into his environment and potentially also have been sacrificed by the enemies of Tupac. After witnessing Tupac's sacrifice for Madonna through this letter, fans totally understand where he was coming from. One of the fans commented, it only makes sense if you view this from a respectable, growing, conscious black man's perspective. Another added, I can completely understand then, it was a different time back in the 1990s. If you guys remember, Madonna was Shakur's senior for 13 years, 
And according to Tupac's brother, Moprim Shakur, the pair met during a press day for Tupac's film Above the Rim in 1994, where he co-starred with Dwayne Martin. Madonna came, sat down right next to me. When is he finished? She gave me a note to give to him. Okay. Did you read the note? No. I was just happy that she was giving him a note. Talking to Vlad TV, Mo Prim recalled he was accompanying his brother as he promoted the film in New York with Martin when Madonna entered the room. The singer allegedly sat next to Mo Prim and asked him when Tupac would be done as he was in the middle of an interview. Eventually, Tupac noticed her in the room and waved. But since he was busy, Madonna ended up leaving him a note with Mo Prim. After receiving the note from Madonna, Mo Prim said while recalling the incident, I didn't read it. I was just happy that she was giving him a note. Everybody was there. I went over and gave it to him. He was about the business, and then they linked up. Not only that, according to Moprim, he used to drive Tupac to Madonna's house whenever they were in Los Angeles, or sometimes to an airport so they could take a private jet together. They were a thing for a minute, Moprim said. However, the pair kept the relationship away from the spotlight. And while there were rumors about them for years, it was only in 2015 that Madonna finally confirmed everyone's suspicions. We also got to know how the pop queen and the legendary rapper met from The View, former co-host Rosie Perez. Did you set Madonna up with Tupac? Yes, I did. You did? Yes. How did that go? I was invited to Soul Train Music Awards. Pac was a very, very close friend of mine. I was sitting in the front row and Madonna just goes, and I said, what? She goes, look me up. I said, I got you, girl. And I went over to Pac and I said, Pac, Madonna wants to hook up with you. He said, where, where? <laughs> that was it. Rosie has recalled on The View that she was the one to introduce Madonna and Tupac at the 1993 Soul Train Music Awards. According to Rosie, Madonna was in a bad mood that day after her date for the awards stood her up. So when Tupac heard about it, he called her and offered her to be her date. So they stood on the red carpet together. At that time, Shakur only had one request for Rosie. He wanted to meet Madonna and the feeling was mutual, as Rosie recalled. Madonna comes over, she looks at me and goes, girl, I go, I gotcha. I hooked them up and I was very happy about it. At one time, Snoop Dogg also talked about Tupac and Madonna's relationship in quite a fun way on the Howard Stern Show. So he pulls up, but guess who he pulls up with? Who? Like a virgin. No kidding. Oh, that's right. Madonna. She told us too. for the very first time. <laughs> yeah, Madonna. He shows up with Madonna, man. He recalled how Tupac assured him that he would surely come on a Saturday night meetup. And then he did show up, but with Madonna. It was quite shocking for him. And that's what he said after witnessing the whole situation. He's got a big bag of that do it fluid. He tells her, have a seat. She looks at me. I look at her. I say, oh, wow. That's Madonna. Well, those old times were good, but not anymore because now Tupac is no longer with us. The legendary rapper is remembered by fans to this day as the singer was shot in Las Vegas on September 7, 1996, at the age of 25. Tupac's murder has been linked to various conspiracies ever since he died, such as corruption by the Los Angeles Police Department, bitter dispute between record labels, and the killing of rival rapper Biggie Smalls in 1997. According to the reports, a few hours before Tupac was killed, he and his entourage got into a fight with a gang member, Orlando Anderson. The gangsta party singer punched Orlando first. Later, police identified Orlando as the person who killed Tupac. Iconic rapper Tupac Shakur was shot here in Las Vegas. The rapper was shot inside of a BMW while stopped at a red light on Koval and Flamingo. We all know the story. He then died six days later. The shooting happened after a Mike Tyson fight against Bruce Sheldon at MGM Grand. And then there was a brawl inside of the lobby right after that fight. Tupac was in the car with Marion Suge Knight, who was grazed by a bullet. No one has ever been arrested for Tupac's murder. You might not know, but Tupac beef got started when he met Death Row Records co-founder Suge Knight while in prison on rape charges. Shakur was later released but agreed to sign tonight's label if he gave the rappers $1.3 million bail. This union would only cause Shakur trouble in the future, as Knight was linked to the Bloods, a gang fiercely at odds with the Crips. Within just a few months of Shakur releasing Hit Em Up, the most famous hip-hop diss track ever recorded, and one aimed squarely at notorious B.I.G., Puffy and Bad Boy Records, Shakur was dead. With escalating tensions and his music tragedy began to mirror his real-life violence. After hearing the news about the rapper's death, everyone was in grief. Snoop Dogg also opened up about his feelings over the sad news. It's sad, man. I think I was riding on the freeway and I heard it on the radio station. 
know, I don't like thinking about that. I should have just fed up, man, at the n that had to go out like that so young. Like 25, my oldest son is 25 years old. I'm thinking like, damn, that's only how old he was. He did a lot, but he didn't get a chance to do what he needed to do. He had more to do. Not only that, we have our hands on a clip where Tupac was talking about his death and how he wants to be remembered by all. Someone said, where do you see Tupac 10 years from now? He said, hey, I just want to be alive. That's real for you. That's so real. Because I honestly did not care whether I lived or died. If I can't live free, if I can't live with the same respect as the next man, I don't want to be here. Looks like he truly sacrificed himself to save Madonna from evil. Fans still remember him and wish for him to be alive. One of the fans said, I just wish he knew how important he was to us. Hashtag goat. Another added, I really wish you were still in this world alive. I miss Tupac. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.